Ukraine's army has said it may, has made major gains around the port city of Kherson following Russia's announcement that its troops were withdrawing from the area. Russia says it's moving to new defensive positions on the other side of the Dnipro River. But that process could take weeks. There's no sign so far of a mass withdrawal. Our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg reports now on how the news of the Russian withdrawal has been reported back home. What are Russians being told about the war in Ukraine? For more than eight months, the message from the Kremlin to the people has been Russia will be victorious. And yet there is no sign of the promised victory. On the contrary, the public is learning of problems. Grim faces on state TV as Russia announces a retreat from Kherson, the strategically important Ukrainian city. I bet they're cock-a-hoop about this in the West, he says, but we have to remain calm. And this Kremlin supporter remains confident. Of course we will win. And uh, withdrawal of our troops, temporary withdrawal of our troops from Kherson in order not to be surrendered is not a defeat. Even though a lot of people in the West would like to see this as a defeat, it's not. Because uh, uh, sometimes you need to go back one step to go ten, ten steps further. Still, it does feel like Vladimir Putin has been trying to distance himself from what many see as a setback. As the retreat was being announced, Putin was shown visiting a brain research center. He thought his military operation in Ukraine would last days, not months. But it hasn't gone to plan. There is also growing confusion over his objectives in this war. And since the Kremlin had insisted that occupied Kherson would be Russian forever, the retreat is a blow to Moscow. Russia's retreat from Kherson creates a danger for Vladimir Putin. It risks changing how he's perceived here at home, not so much by the Russian public, but by the Russian elite, by the people around him, the people in power here who for years have viewed Putin as a great strategist, a winner. Less so now. And the mood on the streets? Of course we'll win the war, he says. When have Russians ever lost? I really hope that Russian soldiers will come back and Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin will leave his post and uh, Ukraine and Russia will be free from this dictator. For now, the Russian public is watching, waiting, to see where the Kremlin's war goes from here. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow. Well, earlier I spoke to Peter Zalmayev, who's director of the Eurasia Democracy Initiative in Kyiv. And I asked what will happen when Ukraine's forces get the opportunity to move back to Kherson. Well, you know, we are hearing reports that, you know, obviously, uh, you know, very much according to Russian military doctrine uh, of uh, trickery and subterfuge, we can expect them to have mined this city, uh, in fact, have turned it into a city of death. There are already reports that, uh, you know, apart, whole apartment blocks and whole areas of the Kherson, of Kherson are mined. Uh, Ukrainian media is reporting that uh, the Russians have already blown up some um, objects of critical infrastructure. They have essentially uh, taken down the, the power station there, uh, also um, blown up the um, TV uh, station. So it's not uh, going uh, to be easy. It's going to be take, it's going to take days. Uh, for the Russians to retreat. Mind you, there are 40,000 uh, troops there. Uh, and I will just quote the words of uh, one of our uh, government officials, Mikhail Podolak, who said that this is what Russian world looks like. They came, they robbed, celebrated, killed witnesses, then they left ruins and left altogether. And what do you make of concerns that this is less of a strategic withdrawal and more potentially of a strategic trap in which uh, the Russians may regroup and re-attack Kherson? 
Well, you know, this is what they're now, that's how they're trying to spin it. You know, they're trying to spin it as a tactical retreat. They're comparing it to the retreat of their General Kutuzov in 1812 when he decided to leave Moscow to the invading Napoleon uh, troops. No matter what spin you put on it, uh, even uh, some of the Kremlin's uh, propaganda hacks put it uh, in no uncertain terms. This is the greatest geopolitical defeat since the breakup of the Soviet Union, as one of them said. But, you know, obviously, it's going to be the Dnieper River. They're, they're trying to cross uh, across the Dnieper. It's a wide river. They're going to be entrenched on the left bank. That's going to be very difficult uh, for the Ukrainians to cross the river and knock the Russians out uh, from there. They're, you know, uh, so, yes, uh, they're not leaving. They're definitely going to try to go after Kherson again. It's going to be also very difficult. But this is why we're hearing from Russians all this talk about the need for uh, peace talks. It's and Ukraine is very wary. Ukrainian Ukraine's Western allies are wary of this because they know Russians need a pause, a strategic pause to replenish their troops, to okay. better train them, to equip them, and, and to start uh, attacking again.